Hi guys, Ms. Hargraves here in week seven with analyzing, compare, and contrast text structure. We're gonna read a story called Tending to Trails and Tales by Alice Carey. Click go. Do you have what it takes to be a volunteer? Chances are you do, but you might not realize it. Do you like the outdoors? Why not volunteer with a nearby nature organization? Are animals more your style? Try volunteering at a local animal shelter. You'll learn new life skills, meet new people, and maybe even forge your own career path. Here, let's look at our text features of a photograph and caption. It says volunteers can build a hiking trail in the mountains, like on the left, or play with puppies on the animal shelter, like in the picture on the right. After reading this paragraph, what do you think the rest of the text will be about? It'll argue that volunteering is better at an animal shelter than in nature. Well, they're kind of saying here that either one sounds great depending on what you're into. It'll show how different types of volunteer work can be both fun and rewarding. That one sounds likely, right? They're talking about meeting new people through volunteering, how it can be really good for you to learn new skills. The steps you need to choose a career after volunteering somewhere. Plus that it might help you with your career path, but I don't think it's gonna go into the steps of making it a career. Or it's gonna describe where the closest places to volunteer are located. I think the best answer here is it's gonna show how different kinds of volunteer work can be fun and rewarding. Click the green arrow. No matter where you live, local nature organizations and animal shelters need help. In Washington State, for instance, an old bridge over a creek needs to be replaced along a popular trail for hikers and mountain bikers. The Washington Trails Association, based in the city of Seattle, hopes students and adults will build that bridge. Alternatively, an organization called Fur Kids in Atlanta, Georgia, needs help at its cage-free cat shelter. There's so much to do each day. Get fresh food and water, clean litter boxes, mop floors, and of course, play with about 200 lonely cats. So what similarities and differences can you find in the descriptions of the Washington Trails Association and Fur Kids Animal Shelter? So at Washington Trails, they need help building a new bridge. At Fur Kids, they need help caring for two cats. Do they both need people who enjoy having pets? Well, no, this is a bridge. Do they both need people that can give their time and skills? It takes time and skills to build a bridge and time and skills to care for cats. Do they need pe people who can train and prepare others? doesn't say that for either one, or need people who enjoy the outdoors. The bridge is outdoors, but the cats would not be outdoors. So the best answer is they need people that can give their time and skills. Click the green arrow. Volunteers can get involved a little, helping for an hour or two now and then, or a lot. In fact, groups like the Washington Trails Association organize backcountry trips lasting up to a week or more. I'm gonna click and see what backcountry is. An area of land far from any roads or towns. So you go on trips far from roads or towns. Volunteers camp in tents while doing things like cutting brush and clearing trees. On her fifth such trip, a girl named Anna enjoyed chatting, swapping riddles, and singing with other volunteers as she worked in the wilderness saying, we had a ridiculously fun time hacking away at the mounds of dirt, rock, and roots. You can see them working in this picture. It says teens perform volunteer work at a national park in California. Animal lovers who wanna make a big commitment can consider taking animals home from shelters as temporary foster families. Gabby, a Florida teen, fostered two four-week-old kittens. When they grew old enough to return to the animal shelter, however, she couldn't bear to give them up. We just got attached, she says. Happily, her mother allowed her to adopt the kittens. Why does the author describe the volunteer jobs of building trails and fostering kittens? The author wants to show us how clearing trails and fostering kittens both take a lot of time and humor, effort, or strength. Definitely take a lot of effort, right? They take a lot of work, but they come with big rewards. For instance, Anna's reward was the praise, fun, or money. Well, she said she had fun, right? Telling riddles and having a good time with her friends on her trip. On the other hand, Gabby's greatest reward was getting to keep the kittens, right? She adopted them. Click the green arrow. Many students enjoy their work so much they think about choosing a career related to that work. Austin, a longtime helper at an animal shelter in Los Angeles, California, plans to attend medical school. 
He believes the lessons he's learned at the shelter will eventually help him work with human patients. Since the dogs are so different, he says, they've taught me the importance of really watching and listening to them so I can help them in a way that is best for them. I guess you can say they're helping me with my bedside manner. Let's click on what is bedside manner. It's the way that medical professionals speak to and behave towards their patients. So he thinks by working with the animals, he'll be able to work with his own patients better. According to Austin, how has working with dogs prepared him for working with human patients? Both dogs and humans can learn lessons. <clears throat> Both dogs and humans need someone to take long walks with them every day. Don't think humans necessarily do. Both dogs and humans can get diseases, that is true, but both dogs and humans need someone to listen and pay close attention to them. Well, remember here, he said they taught him the importance of watching and listening. So paying attention and listening would be our best choice. Hit the green arrow. A team named Ryan loved his work with the Adirondack Mountain Club in New York State so much that after graduating from high school, he joined the club's professional trail crew. He still remembers his first volunteer assignment, the summer after ninth grade, which initially seemed impossible, moving boulders into place along a trail. His first thought was, I don't think I can do this. A week later, he knew exactly what to do. Now an adult, Ryan often tackles projects like this, thinking nothing of moving 200 rocks to build a mountainside staircase. This one event and this one week, he recalls, inspired me more than any other experience I had ever had. Why do you think the author tells the story about Ryan? Are they describing the process of moving a large, heavy object? Well, no, they didn't go through that process. Are they trying to make us want to be volunteers for a professional trail crew? To show why some types of work are more important than others, to show like this is more important than another job? Or to give an example of a person whose career started with volunteering? Well, remember, Ryan started with volunteering in high school, and then after high school, he decided he was going to join the crew. So his turn into a career. Volunteering turned career. Says volunteers perform a variety of tasks. This team takes notes about a kitten's weight and behavior at an animal shelter. Whether you decide to foster kittens like Gabby or move boulders like Ryan, you can find the perfect volunteer opportunity for yourself right in your own community. Grasping this opportunity just might enrich your life today and help you find your life's work in the future. Not to mention all the happy hikers and adorable animals who will benefit from your efforts. Be a volunteer. I'm going to check our time to see video. Looks like we're okay. All right, click the arrow. What similarity does the author show between Gabby and Ryan in the final paragraph? So Gabby fostered kittens, Ryan moved boulders. They both improved their own lives while helping others. They've both figured out what to do with the rest of their lives. They both made new friends by learning a valuable skill, or they both got people in your community to volunteer. Remember, Gabby fostered kittens and then ended up adopting them, right? Improving her own life while she was also helping the kittens. Ryan moved boulders and eventually turned that into a career that he really enjoys. So they both improved their own lives while also helping. What idea does the first paragraph introduce? So going back to this first paragraph, if you volunteer outside, you'll meet more people. They didn't talk about that, right? They talked about the nature organizations or animals or just finding something to volunteer that you enjoy. You'll enjoy volunteering when it's closer to home. No, nope, they never said that. Whatever volunteer work you do, you'll benefit from it. Oh, you could benefit by meeting new people, new skills, a career. You'll find a new career if you volunteer with pets. Well, I didn't say that specifically either. So whatever you pick though, you'll benefit from it, right? You can learn something new, it could turn into a career, you don't know. What do the descriptions of the Washington Trails Association and Fur Kids Animal Shelter help you understand? The two organizations have different needs. The Washington Trails Association needs help with, we know that they are what, building a bridge. Well, Fur Kids needs help with, oh, I just threw something about taking care of cats. Finding homes for cats, taking care of cats. However, both groups on volunteers who can give their time and skills, train and prepare others, or bring and work with tools. Well, the most important thing is that people can come and give their time and their skills. Whatever they're good at, you can find a use for in volunteering. What did Anna and Gabby's volunteer jobs have in common? 
So remember, Anna cleared brush and trees. Gabby cared for kittens. Were they both taught key lessons about working with other people? Did they both allow many chances to do tiring tasks? Did they require strength but resulted in new friendships? Or they took a lot of effort but offered big rewards? Remember, they were, I think the best one here, they both cared for the kitten, or she cared for the kitten, she cleared the brush, and she's the one that made like the friends out in their um, woods. But they both took a lot of effort to do, right? And they had the big rewards of friendship and getting to adopt the kittens. They both felt good in their endeavors. How's Austin's volunteer experience similar to the career he would like to pursue? Volunteering with dogs has taught Austin how to understand when each dog arrives, what each dog needs, or where each dog sleeps. Well, he said that they all have different needs, right? And now he better understands that. Similarly, as a doctor, he will have to do what with human patients? Pay attention to, make meals for, or take comfort from. Well, he's going to have to pay attention to his human patients, right, to figure out what they need. What kind of medicine, what kind of treatment. How does Ryan's story help develop the idea that volunteering work can be very rewarding? Remember, Ryan was moving all the boulders. It makes readers want to become volunteers for a professional trail crew. No, that doesn't really go with that. It doesn't make me want to be a professional trail crew member. It provides an example of how hard work can make you believe you could do impossible tasks. Well, I like that one, right? Because that hard work, he didn't think he could move those boulders in the beginning, but then it made him believe that he can, and now he does it all the time. It shows that sometimes the work are more difficult than others. That might be true, but that doesn't go with it being rewarding. It explains the process of moving heavy objects for a professional trail crew. It didn't really go through the process. The best one is that hard work, right, can reward you by showing you you can do impossible things. Gabby and Ryan perform different tasks. How do they both benefit from volunteering? Remember, Gabby fostered kittens and Ryan moved the boulders. Did they both make their own lives better while helping others? Did they both make new friends while learning valuable skills? Did they create new opportunities in their communities? Or did they figure out what to do with the rest of their lives? Well, Gabby's life got better, right? Because she got to keep her kittens and that made her really happy and gave the kittens a home. And Ryan's life got better because he found the perfect job for himself in moving those boulders. And by doing so, they also helped others. All right, guys, I think that was the last question. I'll be back with a video for your other lesson as well. Please reach out if you guys need anything and have a great day.